So I wanted to do a brief review on Marvel's new acquisition of the Conan the Barbarian franchise once again. Uh, I was not impressed with these various stories. For instance, in Conan the Barbarian, the issue number one story, it continues in Savage Sword of Conan, which is this dinky little standard comic book sized issue. Uh, not impressed with their new storytelling. Not impressed with how they write Belit. She's very much in the vein of Captain Marvel, Batwoman, uh, and the various other attempts by Hollywood to empower young women by making men as evil pigs. Interestingly, the lady who makes this series, Teeny Howard, she also makes The Forgotten Queen, which uh, I bought just out of curiosity and not very terribly impressed with the writing or the, where the story is going. Uh, so, very brief review on the new Conan the Barbarian. I know that ya boy Zach likes Savage Avengers, where they've merged Conan into the Avengers in Marvel Comics. I will give that a look if I can find it at the local comic book shop. But I would advise anyone who's a fan of the old Conan the Barbarian comic books, King Conan or Savage Sword of Conan, steer clear of these. This is not the Conan you remember. And that's all. Thank you.